Hi, and welcome to another video from the best of CET series. In this video, we are going to discuss three questions from the dreaded topic of permutations and combinations. I will show you the three questions on the next slide. What you can do is pause the video, try these questions on your own and then have a look at the solutions that will follow. The ideal timeline to solve these three questions is three minutes. So try to make sure that you adhere to these timelines and solve these three questions in three minutes. And then you can have a look at the shortcuts which may or may not be present in this particular session. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, you can join the IMS zero fee prep programs that will give you access to concept videos, sectionals, full length tests and more for free. You may click on the i button or on the link in the description box below to access the same. Happy learning. Now this is a rather straightforward question. What we have to do is we have to form a committee of eight people from a group of five boys, three girls and two teachers such that what happens is two particular boys are already selected, a particular girl is already selected and a particular teacher is already selected. So we have already reserved places for four people. These four people were present in the original group but they have already confirmed their entry into this particular committee. So whoever remains, we have to choose people from the remaining people, that is what we have to do. And we also know that there is no cap as such on the number of boys that should be there, the number of girls that should be there or the number of teachers that should be there. So what we do is, out of five boys, two particular boys are already in the committee. How many boys remain? Three boys. From three girls that we have here, one particular girl has already been a part of the committee or already been uh, assigned this committee, assigned to this committee. So we have uh, two girls left, who are left. And then we have two teachers out of whom one particular teacher has already been selected for this committee. So in this case, we have one teacher left. So now we have a total of six people who are left. Out of these six people, we have to select four people because the committee had to be of eight people. Four people have already been selected. The remaining four people have to be selected among these six people. In how many ways can you select four people out of six? The answer is six C4. Now you will see that 6C4 is nothing but 6 factorial upon 4 factorial 2 factorial or 6 into 5 into 4 factorial upon 4 factorial 2 factorial. 4 factorial will get cancelled out, 2 3s are 6, our answer is simply going to be 3 into 5 that is 15. So the correct answer here is option B that is 15. This is again a rather straightforward question if you know the way to solve questions that involve arrangements with repetition. So in this case, A R L A R M I N G, right? So there are eight letters that are present here. We need to ensure that the vowels are always together. So what all are the vowels that we have here? We have two A's and one I that is present here. So these three are the vowels. They have to be together. And in addition to that, we also have L R M N and G as the consonants. And we are perfectly okay with the consonants being wherever they are. So we have to arrange six groups among themselves. That can be done in six factorial ways. But one of these groups that we have here, we have A, A and I that are present here. So what we will do in this context is, we will have to figure out in how many ways can you arrange these three letters among each other, which is going to be nothing but three factorial divided by two factorial. So what we are going to get here is six factorial that is 720 multiplied by three factorial by two factorial or three itself. 720 into 3 will be nothing but 2160. So the correct answer here is option C that is 2160. Now this is a rather tricky question because there is this if then condition that has been given to you. Now what is the condition that has been given to you? One, you have to make a subset of five numbers. And obviously when I say subset, it means that the numbers have to be there without repetition. Right? Because if you have to form a subset of five numbers, you can't have one, 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 one as the subset. Right? Because there is only one, one that is present in the original set. What has to happen is, it has to exclude zero if number nine is included. If nine is included, then zero cannot be present. But what if nine is not present? Does it mean that zero has to be present? Not really. If nine is not present, we can do whatever we want to. But if 9 is present, then 0 has to be excluded. So there are two cases that are possible. The first case is if 9 is present. If 9 is present, then what will happen? I have a choice to select 4 more numbers. From how many numbers? The remaining 8 numbers. Because if you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0, if 9 is selected, 0 cannot be selected. How many are left? 
eight numbers are left. Out of eight, we need to select four numbers in eight C four ways. So with a bit of practice, you can do it directly. You can see eight seven six five divided by four factorial, because the other four factorial will get cancelled from the numerator and the denominator. Now four factorial is twenty four. Six eights are forty eight. Twenty four twos are forty eight. So that's how we will write it. So two into seven into five, fourteen fives are seventy. So these will be seventy cases that we'll have. The second thing is if nine is not present. Let's say if nine is not present, then what will happen? If nine is not present, I simply have to select five numbers out of nine numbers. That's it, which can be done in nine C five ways, or we can say nine into eight into seven into six, right? Or you can say into five factorial. Let's say for example, denominator will have five factorial, four factorial. So if you are not comfortable with the notations, we can write it like this as well. But I would prefer not to write that five factorial at all. So nine into eight into seven into six by four factorial. Again, the same logic. Four factorial is nothing but twenty-four. Six eights are forty-eight. Twenty-four twos are forty-eight. So we can say nine twos are eighteen. Eighteen into seven, and you have to be really good with your tables, gives you one hundred and twenty-six. So we will have one twenty-six as the number of arrangements or the number of selections, the number of subsets that will be possible if you choose to not select nine at all. So the total number of ways in which you can create a subset of five numbers from the numbers given, with the condition that follows, will be seventy plus one twenty-six, which will be one hundred and ninety-six. So the correct answer here will be option B, that is one ninety-six. Now I hope you have understood how to solve questions from PNC. The questions per se are not going to be very difficult in most cases. So what you can do is you can build a working knowledge of permutations and combinations instead of getting scared by the topic. So that you are able to tackle these questions very quickly. In many cases, the options will not even require you to calculate anything. They will purely be in the form of factorials. So that makes your job even easier. So if you are not confident in this particular topic, I would strongly suggest that you build confidence over the next few days and be prepared for at least the basic questions that can appear from this particular topic. I'll see you again in the next video. Till then, happy learning.